aims to end migrant workers' exploitation in New Zealand. Immigration Minister Again, Lise Galloway has announced changes to the government's refu refugee quota ca categories recently. The government just announced a new employer-led visit vi or work visa it said would deal with labor shortages, reduce exploitation and improve conditions for New Zealand workers. Here's more from Greg Beza. The migrant workers in New Zealand play an integral part in creating a productive, sustainable, and inclusive economy while they are providing the much-needed skilled labor force in vital sectors and industries across the country. In recognition to their significant contribution, the New Zealand government has made a series of immigration policy changes aimed at ensuring a safe and fair working environment for migrant workers, among others. No other than the Immigration Minister, the Honorable Ian Les Galloway, who has discussed this particular policy direction of the New Zealand government. At a forum hosted by the Good Heart New Zealand Philippine Foundation and the Victoria University's Filipino Students Association, the Immigration Minister Ian Les Galloway emphasized that the present government is committed to end migrant workers' exploitation. He explained that a set of visa changes, including the simplification of an employer-led visa processing, will help in stamping out exploitation of migrant workers. He said that it is unacceptable for employers to mistreat and exploit their foreign workers. While he said that the government is ready to enforce the laws against abusive employers, he also clarified that it is important for migrant workers to know and understand their employment standard and their rights to work safely and free from being exploited. As work exploitation comes in many forms, the immigration minister encouraged those who are exploited or have been victimized of such to come out, speak up, and report it to authorities concerned. It takes migrant exploitation very seriously. It's something that's been ignored for too long in New Zealand, and we have to deal with it. And I know that a lot of people feel very vulnerable. They're worried about speaking up because they're worried about what the impact might be on their immigration status or on their job. The new proposals that we have brought out and are consulting on right now are absolutely designed to support people so that when they come forward they will be taken care of, they will get certainty around their immigration status and they will have the opportunity to move into a new job that's not exploitative and which they can get the income from to be able to support themselves and their families. So I really do encourage people to actually engage with the consultation document that we have published to tell us more about our, our, the proposals, to tell us what you think and to make sure that we're doing the things that you need to feel safe and secure in New Zealand and to be able to speak up about exploitation. The Immigration Minister also announced during the forum that he launched a public consultation two weeks ago calling all stakeholders concerned to make submissions in tackling migrant exploitation to the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Employment, deadline of which is on Wednesday, 27th November 2019. He stressed out on how important the migrant workers are to New Zealand and as they are and will continually be providing the skilled labor force to support and sustain the thriving regional economies in the country, they must be treated fairly. He even specifically mentioned the contributions made by overseas Filipino workers to the New Zealand economy. Oh, look, our migrant workforce is hugely important. Uh, our economy would, would come to a halt if we didn't have our migrant workforce. And of course people come from all around the world and they contribute to our society and our culture and they give us as a small trading nation, um, a long way from the rest of the world, connections with the world around us. So uh, our government, just like all governments, value our migrant workforce.
to our Filipino migrant workforce. Thank you so much for helping us build the buildings, uh, build our roads. Um, you're part of our aged care workforce, our health workforce. Uh, we would be lost without you. And I really encourage you to be part of your community, uh, to be um, part of your unions, part of your community organisations, uh, and, and make yourselves known uh, in New Zealand society. We need to know more about Filipino culture, and we need to see you so that um, we can make sure that you're having the best possible experience in New Zealand, uh, and, that, and that we're all all of us uh, are getting the best out of that relationship. On the other hand, those who attended the forum expressed their appreciation to the immigration minister for sharing his time in discussing a number of issues behind the recent immigration changes. It was indeed a pleasure to be with the minister this afternoon. We had voiced out our concerns regarding the changes of the immigration policy, most specifically the parent category visa, as well as other concerns and issues wherein the minister had really answered with honesty and the best of his ability. And we were all uh, very satisfied and still looking forward to the revision the, the New Zealand government is committed and determined to eradicate the exploitative practices by unprincipled and abusive employers on their respective migrant workers. Yet, this is just one of the many issues and concerns affecting the foreign workers in this country which the government needs to address with urgency. From Victoria University of Wellington, New Zealand, this is Greg Bessa. I am and will always be one with 25.